Hello! Welcome to Introduction to the Visual Arts. The painting that I chose for today is called Still Life with Flowers. Kind of an obvious title. It was painted by a Dutch painter named Rachel Roosh. R-U-Y-S-C-H. Rachel Roosh painted so many beautiful still lives of flowers that she became known as the best woman painter in Dutch society about 1704 is when she painted this work. And about that time, her work commanded huge prices. The Dutch were always very, very interested in flowers. And so um, her work was very, very popular. So the reason that I chose this work is because all of these flower paintings had an element of memento mori. Memento mori was an idea that had been floating around for quite a long time, but it meant that even as you live, you should be reminded of death. So in these flowers, one of the ideas is that these flowers are cut flowers, and so because they're cut, they're going to die in a week or so. And lots of times in some of these memento mori pieces, or even the flower pieces, what you would see is you would see dead insects or something dead if you looked really, really closely. But even if you don't see something dead, some of the flowers look like they're not as healthy as other flowers. And I think that this carnation up here kind of gives you an idea of that memento mori idea. Now, when we study the history of art, many times women are left out of the history books. And part of the reason is that they lived quieter lives. They, couldn't, they didn't live in the public so much. And the only way you could be an artist is probably if you had a father that had a workshop and you could be trained by your father or your brother or some relative, or if you went into the convent. Those were the two big ways. Now, if you go back into the archives of lots and lots of galleries, there's lots of works on, that they have stored away that have been done by women. But women just did not get the notoriety that men did. And so for Rachel Roosh to be the best woman artist in uh, the Netherlands at the time when she lived, this was quite remarkable. The other thing is women suffered stiff competition from male artist counterparts. The males would be very, very, well, artists in general were very competitive because there were not a huge number of commissions out there. So you really wanted to be very, very good. And so if there were women artists that you had to compete with, that was also something that was very difficult for women because men would, some men may spread rumors about women just to ruin their reputations. And this is well documented if you study uh, what women were up against um, in the world of art. Also, if you painted and were a woman, your work probably would not be paid as well as a man would be paid. What's new? We have this still in the United States, uh, and I just heard yesterday that women are making 71, per 71 cents to every dollar that a man makes. So that's, we are still working with that kind of idea. But she rose to notoriety, and she was one of the few people that had to, um, that was able to overcome that social stigma. So we have to applaud her. Now, remember this idea of memento mori, because when I explain to you how we're going to do the art project that is related to this painting, uh, I want you to have this idea in mind. I'll make another video about how to do the art project that is connected. Thank you for your attention.